Okay, the recording is running. Right. Okay, so what I want to do this afternoon. Denise, I think so why are you in black and white? I think a lot of you um, probably know some of this already. So if you have, I apologize in advance. Um, <clears throat> but what we're going to try and do is we are just going to try and um, all get onto the same page. Okay, so once we're all on the same page, then we know where we are. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, share my screen first. Let's just see if you can see that. Um, I'm going to share. Okay, can you, can everyone see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. I'll just give it another couple of seconds, just for anyone that's on a slowish connection. Okay. So. Are you on Google now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, there are a number of ways to 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 actually record your screen. That's what I'm going to show you here. I know a lot of you have been have been using PowerPoint, um, and you've been recording. Uh, primarily uh, making PowerPoints and, and putting uh, video and that into PowerPoints. But there, there might come a time where you want to use something other than PowerPoint, or you don't want to kind of be locked into just PowerPoint because you've got some other stuff that you can do. Um, I know, especially in JP side, you've got some software that you use for, um, for your smart board that works uh, well on your PC because you can draw on it and all sorts of things. Um, and it would obviously be nice to record that sort of thing. So um, got Alan, can I, yes. can I, Alan, can I say something that works very well? Lizzie and I have experimented with it, and it really it does work well. Um, it's a good tool. Perfect. Okay, so um, if you want to use anything else, it will. I mean, even even using that, even using I think it's Parrot or whatever the software is for that. Um, there are ways you can record your screen. So. I'm going to show you a, a method now that's that's kind of uh, built into Windows 10. So if you've got Windows 10 on your machine, uh, you, you can use it uh, straight out because it's already installed in your machine. Okay, I myself personally, I do not use this. Um, I use something called Open Broadcaster. Um, and if, if any of you are interested in how to use Open Broadcaster, I certainly don't mind doing another meeting uh, in, in at some stage in the future, tomorrow or the day after, um, and I'll show you how how to use Open Broadcaster. It's probably, as far as I'm concerned, the best screen recording software out there. And that's not just my opinion. You can look anywhere um, and it, you, you'll see it's, it's, it's most people, most YouTubers, all these famous people that are shooting YouTube videos um, use Open Broadcaster. So we are going to use something called Game Bar. Okay, Game Bar is built into Windows 10. Like I said, it's part of the Xbox software that comes with your window with Windows. And the... Um, the easiest way to actually do it is if, if it's activated in your machine and if it's not activated, just, then just tell me and I'll tell you how to activate it, um, is you just, you kind of push, you, you, on your keyboard, you've got that Windows key. So you, you, you hold the Windows key in and you hit G. So Windows G um, and you'll see, I don't know if you can see it come up on mine. Can you see the game bar come up there? No. No. Okay, maybe it's just not showing. If no. you hit Windows, if you hit Windows G on your machine, um, see if you get a, like a little um, control bar that comes up. Um, it's just a it's just a bar that has a G in it. That's all. Where where we normally type the okay. the www. Okay, yeah, we've got it. Yeah, you have to hold it in. So you press uh, Windows yeah. and G and hold it in. Yes, you hold in the Windows key. In other words, next to the Alt key, you've got a key on your keyboard that's got like four little squares on it, the Windows key. So you, you hold that in and then tap the G key on your on your keyboard. So Windows G should bring up Game Bar for you. Just Game Bar. Yeah. Got it, Alan, thanks. That's how you do that. Uh, and Windows G will toggle it off again. 
So uh, the Windows G key combination toggles it on and toggles it off. Uh, if you have not got it, then um, you can go to uh, into your settings. Okay, you can just go into your Windows settings. So you can just go down next to your uh, by the magnifying glass. Uh, just type in the game bar. And a thing will come up that says game bar settings and just make sure that yours is switched on. You know, you, there's a little switch there. You can switch it on or switch it off. So if Windows G did not bring up game bar for you, it probably means that yours is just not activated on your on your Windows 10. But you, so you just go to um, settings and just go to game bar and you can switch it on. OK, so and then I've created a short, uh, I've pinned it onto my Taskbar. Oh, you can pin it onto your taskbar as well, then you can get there very quickly. Yes, yeah. Okay, so um, with Game Bar, what you can do is if you go to uh, the setup or the settings in it, okay, so you can go to the settings part of it, and you, the defaults normally work okay, okay? Um, so what you can do is just make sure that your microphone is switched on, okay? So You'll have to try this after we've done this meeting. Okay. Otherwise, it's going. Um, if you try and record stuff, it's going to do some weird things while you're in this meeting. You don't want to be busy with a video conference and try and record something on your PC. So just maybe just make some notes here. So uh, Windows G will bring up the Game Bar Control Panel, and then on the Game Bar Control Panel, you can do a couple of things. You can either just there's a little camera on there. You can just click that, and it'll take a screenshot of your camera if you want to, almost like the snipping tool. Um, also on there is a you can turn your microphone on and off. Okay, uh, the key combination. If you want to do that on a key combination, if you want to mute your microphone at any time, is Windows Alt M, M for Mary, or M for microphone. Okay, so Windows Alt M, those three keys will toggle your microphone on and off. And if you want to do a recording, you can either just click the recording button or you can click on Windows Alt R. That's the key combination for turning on your recording. So yeah, and you don't you don't even have to have Windows Game Bar up. You can at any time on your computer. If you hit uh, Windows Alt R, it will start recording. You don't even have to have the Game Bar up. The, the, the Windows Alt R is a hotkey combination. So uh, Windows Alt R will start recording, and it will also stop recording. So once you have once you're recording something, it will. Um, <clears throat> It will also stop the recording. So I'm going to just see if I can make a small recording here. Let's just see. I'm going to say um, start recording. And I'm just going to go to the back here. And I'm just going to say, OK, I want to go to, uh, let's say, let's go to this world dormitory here, which is telling us a bit about the coronavirus cases. I'm just making a short video here. Obviously, I'm just moving around my machine. And we can see America's gone past a million cases. Unbelievable. Um, so I'm just going to make a short video here. And then I'm going to, I've got this little bar in the top right corner. You may or may not be able to see it. I'm just going to say stop. Okay, so I've got a recording that has been made uh, of about of 30 seconds. Now. Am I stuck in the screen here with a screen sharing? Okay, there we go. So if I go, to, can you still see my screen? Yes. Okay, can you see File Explorer? I've got File Explorer. Yes. Okay. No. So we with you. Okay. No. No, I just see the Corona thing. I just see okay. the Corona. Oh, Everybody, I've tuned in. Have one Okay, I'm just showing you. So on mine, okay, on mine, it's saving my video captures um, into the videos folder. Okay, the, on, on your Windows 10, there is a folder called videos. If you go to File Explorer, you'll find it. Um, and there's a folder inside there called captures. 
and you'll see here, um, some people might see, see this on my screen. Um, <clears throat> I've got these two files in here, one I made earlier on, um, and this one now called new tab, uh, Google Chrome. Can, can, ever, can some people see this? I've got File Explorer open. No. No. No, can't see it. I can, no. I can just see your coronavirus page. Yeah, me too. Okay, so it's okay. Me so this, this, so what's happening is the screen sharing um, on Teams has locked on that one screen. Okay. Hello, Cindy. Hi. Hi. You need to put off your mic, please. Okay, so I've swapped the screen share. Can you see that now? Yes. Yes. Ah, yes, perfect. I can see it. Okay, so what's yes. happening is, uh, is Teams doesn't automatically swap with, with Windows. As I move the Windows, it doesn't just swap. I'll have to just change it for you. Okay, so so you'll see here I'm in uh, in the videos folder and captures over here. Okay, and anything that I capture with Game Bar, is, the video will appear in here. So I'm, so my so my video was. Um, 30 seconds long, but you'll see it's already 173 megabytes. Okay, so it's it, it's an absolutely enormous monster. So you don't want to run it like that. Okay, if if I if I run this, will you see it? Can you see that? The video is now running. No. 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 Okay, let me no, just. I'll I'll swap to that screen. Give me a sec. I think he wants to make the video smaller. Mm. Maybe I can go to my desktop. Nope. It's... Uh, okay, here it is. Okay, so here's the video that I made earlier. Um, you can see there's the Google page. Uh, and if I run the video, you'll see that it'll actually step through. It'll go to that worldometer. It'll load up the coronavirus, starting to spool. Now, that's the video that I recorded earlier on. It was capturing my machine. Can you see that coming up? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Can see that? Yes, thank you. Perfect. I can see it now. Okay. Okay, so that was my little 30-second video capture that I captured off my machine. Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to close that. Okay. I'm, okay, now just give me a sec here. I'm now going to attempt to run handbrake. Okay, let me see if I can share this. Okay, so you should now see Handbrake running on my machine. Yes. Yes, okay. I don't know what Handbrake is, but I, the screen has okay. changed. So, it's a copy so pad. Hand, so what Handbrake does, handbrake. It's, it's, a, it's a piece of software that will um, think of it as like a zip. It's like zipping um, a file. It, it compresses it, okay? So it makes it smaller. So we saw that the original video that I had um, was, what did I say it was? 100 and, 173 megabytes, okay? So it's, it's enormous, 173 megabytes. 
So what I'm going to do is that's obviously huge, especially if you're using cell phone data and you're going to try and upload that video to YouTube. You're going to move 170 meg for one video. It's going to cost you a fortune. So what you want to do is you want to use Handbrake to compress this file down. So it, it'll compress it um, at no loss. There'll be no, you won't be able to see it with your eye. Um, what has actually happened? So it, it's 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 like a JPEG. It, it, uh, it takes a, a big file and compresses it to a, a smaller file. So I'm going to say, right, I'm going to open a file. So I'm going to click on file. And this is my file. That's the one I made. Okay. So it, it's just saying, well, where is the file you want to compress? Um, Adeline, so sorry one. to interrupt. Um, Janine wants you to invite her again. The electricity tripped and she needs to, She wants. she's going to use her cell phone. Sorry to interrupt. All right, no problem. I'll do that. Just give me a sec. I think she's already in here. It won't let me bring her in because it's saying she's already in. She said they power tripped. Yes, but as far as teams think, think she's still inside yet. Yeah. Okay, so she can do it. She can rejoin just on her cell phone. Just yes, yeah. I think okay. It'll bring her in. As soon as, as soon as the other session clears out, I think it'll let it in. Alan, okay. It's Janine. Alan, it's Janine Davidson. Hey, not me. Yes. Oh, Janine, Janine, Davidson. Janine Davidson. Sorry, Alan. I didn't clear that up. Thanks, Janine. Okay, I've invited her again. Okay, let me just go back. So, so here's Handbrake. Okay, so there's, so this here, this is the file that I want to crush up. This one here, this one that says new tab. In fact, let me just change its name quickly. Just to change its name to, uh, to test. Okay, so this, let me just cancel that. I'm gonna reload it. So this one here called test MP4. That's the one I wanna make smaller. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna say open. So Handbrake has had a look at it. Um, and what you wanna do is just stick with the defaults. I didn't change anything. Okay, so on mine, I, I just leave it like it is. The defaults are pretty good. Okay, so you can see it's had a quick look through. And now I'm just gonna say, uh, start encoding. So I'm gonna hit encode. Sorry. It's Sorry, doing Alan. its version uh, now quickly, yes. Leslie, Leslie told me that I must click on web optimized. Is that not necessary? Uh, I, I wouldn't. Click you, on web. I'll, 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 sh I'll show you why it, it's not really necessary. Okay, thanks. Okay, so you can see at the moment it's busy processing it. Okay, it is done. So let me just, I'm going to clear that out and I'm going to go back to my file explorer. Okay, so I'll have to share that again for you. Okay, so here's the file it made. It put the number one after it. Okay, so there's test and we can see it was 173 megabytes. You, you can probably see that there when I hover the mouse over it. 173 megabytes. The crushed version, six megabytes. I mean, that, that is insane. That, that dropped 164 megabytes out of your file. Yeah, that, that's like 95% like compression. Um, uh, Alan, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, I convert my VLC to an MP4 because other, only then can I, then I also use Handbrake. So, so um, hand, uh, Game Bar will make you an MP4 by default. Um, so, Okay, so thank you. You can see it's MP4 there, test MP4 and test one. So it went from 173 megabytes to six, 6.3. Um, I, I will play this for you. So I'm gonna, I'll double click it. Okay, let me just share this for you so that you can see it. Let me stop sharing that. And I'm gonna 
share that video with you again. Okay, so here it is here. This is the crushed version. Okay, and I'll play it for you and you'll see, you will not be able to see the difference. It is still perfectly viewable. Even though it's only 5% of its original size. Alan? Yes? I just want to check. So if you, like say I send a link to YouTube for the video and I have now crushed it, will that also now make a difference for the parents' data usage? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let me close that out. Right. So um, just to recoup quickly, um, Windows G for Game Bar, um, Windows Alt R, to start recording, Windows Alt R to stop recording. Okay, that will make a recording for you and it'll store it usually into your videos slash capture folder. It'll be an MP4. When you go there, but it'll be enormous. You're looking at about 350 megabytes a minute, 300, 350, 360 megabytes a minute. Use Handbrake. Okay, Leslie uploaded a version of Handbrake this morning um, onto Teams that does not require an admin password to, to install. So you can install Handbrake um, on there. If you are using your own laptop okay, and you do not need an admin password, so not a school laptop if you are using your own one, um, you can go to handbrake.fr. It's okay? so it's a website in France. It's completely free, open source, um, and it's just one of those utilities that you truly should have on your laptop, like Windsor. Um, and VLC player. So handbrake.fr, if you go there with your browser, you can download it. If you're on a school laptop, go to Teams uh, and grab the version that Leslie put on for you. And installing is just trivial. It's, it's very, very easy. So then you will use Handbrake to smash your video down to a very small size. Okay, so now what I'm going to show you is, uh, let me load this up. So I'm going to show you um, how to make your own YouTube channel. Now, there's a reason why you use YouTube, okay? You could take your videos and you could just leave them in Teams. The problem with that is that somebody has to have logged into Teams, right? So the team, um, we call it a walled garden, okay? It's, there's security around it. It's, it's a secure area. And only members of your team can get into there um, to see any videos that you make. So the kids would literally have to log in onto a team and actually go and get the team videos. So what I do is I have, I've got my own YouTube channel. I, I know a couple of you have, I know Lizzie's got one. I know Louise has got one. Um, and what you do is the reason I use YouTube is because uh, YouTube was built from the ground up to do video. It's the only thing they do and they do it real well. Okay, they, so, so they are far better at video than Teams. So Teams has got uh, what they call Microsoft Streams there. Okay, that's their version of YouTube, um, but it's pretty sucky compared to YouTube. Okay, yes, it, is, it does work, but as you saw today, Teams has got problems sometimes logging in, so the kids won't be able to log in. YouTube never has that issue, okay? Uh, the other thing with YouTube is if when you upload a video, they automatically make half a dozen versions of your video for you. You don't have to do this, okay? So I record my videos at the highest possible resolution. Now, that's because I'm blessed enough to have a fiber optic connection to the internet. So for me, size means nothing, okay? So I can upload enormous videos if I want to, but YouTube will make me multiple versions. It does it automatically for you. So people that are on uh, slower connections or they have data issues, they can choose to pick a lower resolution version of my video. I didn't have to make that. YouTube does it automatically for you for every single video that you upload. That's the beauty about YouTube. They do, they, they've got fantastic tools sort of working for, behind the scenes for you doing all this sort of thing. Okay, so let me go to share my browser window. Okay, so 
let me go here to okay so this year is this year is my, is my youtube channel um there you can see a bunch of videos that i've been putting in here now i do mine in two different ways you can see here i did a, a lesson for my for my grade tens this morning so i will do live sessions just like i'm doing for you now um, i do live sessions uh, and i record them in teams okay so i use teams i do the live sessions and i record them uh, and the kids that can make it they sit in on it and then the recording i i upload it i, I download it from teams and i upload it to youtube so the kids that could that could not make that it at that time, they could consume that um, at a later stage. Uh, you will have worked out by now that that synchronous teaching will not work for you. I promise you, it will not. You you will not. And I know we start off gung ho doing this, uh, but we found out very quickly in the college that some of the kids just cannot make your lesson at a specific time. It, it just doesn't work for them. Either they don't have data or they have data that only works after midnight. It's, quite a few of our kids have got that. They've got like after midnight data because it's cheaper. Um, so synchronous teaching is not, not working. So for me, I find a mix of synchronous and asynchronous teaching is working. So, so I'll do live streams, I record them. Uh, the kids that can do it live will do it live. And later on during the day or tomorrow or whatever, the other kids will pick up that recording and they'll do the recording. So that is the one thing I do. And then the other thing I do, and I suspect that a lot of you are doing this, is I make separate videos. You can see here I've got a bunch of gaming videos that I've been making for other Kara schools. Um, this is the one I gave you the other day for Scratch. And you can see here, these are technology ones that I've been building for my grade eights and nines. And those are, they're, they're individual lessons that I've just been doing and making videos of them. Um, and those are the ones that you would use a game bar for, the type of lessons that you that you record the lesson, you upload it, and then the kids kind of do it at, in their own time. So if you want to make a YouTube channel, this is what you do. You just go to YouTube, okay? And you will need to sign up, okay? So you'll have to go into YouTube, and you will have to actually create yourself um, a YouTube, a proper YouTube account. You can just use your Curro address. If you want to, you can see I've used mine there. So just create yourself um, a, a YouTube account and sign in. Okay, that's important. You, you're not, you don't want to be there as just um, Joe Public. You, you, you want to have a signed in YouTube account. It doesn't cost you anything. Then inside here okay you can't see it in mine uh, can, can you see this drop down by the way this menu that i'm on here yes perfect so inside here um will be i don't have it because i've already got one but here at the top you'll have an option that says uh, create a channel okay so you will click on that and it'll take you through um, a screen, you know, kind of asking who you are, uh, what a, what a, what a. Um, and what you want to do is you, 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 once you've created your channel, is you want to um, authorize yourself. So, so in other words, you, you, you need to authorize your account because if you don't, okay, they, they want to confirm that you, that you are who you say you are. Um, otherwise, what they do is they limit you to videos of under 15 minutes. You can't load a video of more than 15 minutes, and that's annoying. You'll see that there's, there's pretty much no or very few videos on my channel here are, are, are less than even half an hour. Um, and what you do is when you, when you verify your account, when you, they will just SMS you because you gave them your telephone number. Um, they will SMS you a PIN code. You just put it in, boom, and you're done. It, it's that simple. Um, they, they, you, you just get the PIN code, slap it in, and as soon as you do that, you can make videos of any length. They're not limited in length at all. So you just literally click on uh, create my channel um, and verify it. And once you're verified, uh, you're ready to rock and roll. So uploading videos is very, very easy. 
Yeah, I'm going to show you. I will, I will actually do one. Okay, so <clears throat> once you've got a channel, you're going to find and you're logged into your YouTube. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to find that you've got this new little icon up here. You can see it's this little camera thingy. Okay, this little camera thingy up top here. Alan, can I stop you for one moment? Sure. Um, Alan, my, my Wi-Fi is very slow. In fact, even after I had made it smaller, it, it took me, the first time I did it, the first Monday that we had lockdown, it took me from 6 o'clock that morning to 6 o'clock that night. Um, so sure. I sort of... It it that it, at the moment it's actually not working. So I've got a exter I've got a uh, um, uh, uh, external modem, a mobile modem. Um, okay. Is that is that normal? Or okay. So so if you've got if you've got ADSL, okay, like I used to have ADSL before I put the fiber in. Um, ADSL. Um, there's one sucky part of ADSL, and that's the A. Okay, A stands for asynchronous. So asynchronous digital subscriber line. And asynchronous means that your download speed is different to your upload speed. And normally your download speed is only like one fifth of your download speed, which is fine because usually most of the time you are downloading and you don't upload much. Now though, now that all of you are now YouTubers, okay, you're gonna be uploading quite a bit. So, the, so if you're on ADSL, that's a little sucky. Um, if you're on a uh, telephone connection on cell data or fiber, your upload and download speeds are the same. I've got 20 megabits here at home, which is fine. In fact, my speed here at home is the same as the whole of Grantley School. Um, and I know Ivan's got the same down at his place now. Um, so that's why I said, you know, we're quite blessed. But if, you, if, you're on a, if, you've got a weak, if you've got a weak cell signal, it's the strength of your signal that's a problem. I know like uh, Janine Falker has got a weak signal at her home. So she she really battles as well. We had, we had that the other day with her battling. He's um, got a very yeah, so weak signal. The strength of a signal is really what counts um, when it comes oh. to a, 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 a wireless connection anyway. Yes, mine is very weak. But Alan, I've also used classic upload. And that's oh, also okay. helped. Okay. So you've got, so you've got this, uh, like I said, you've got this little camera up here. So if you click on that, it's going to give you two options. Either you can go live. Okay. So just, so just like I'm doing now on teams, you can go live on YouTube. And that would mean that these eight subscribers okay, so I've got eight kids here that have uh, subscribed to my channel. And the reason they've done that is because they can find my videos easier. Okay, so so they would be able, they would get a live feed. So YouTube would take the place of Teams. Okay, I, I would not do that. So I, I don't use that. Um, but what I do is I go to this upload video. So I'm going to say upload a video. Okay, and it's going to take me to the uploading video part. So it's saying, okay, what video do you want to upload? So I'm going so I'm going to upload the one that we made. So I'm going to say right, select a file. I'm going to go to videos, captures, because that's where it is. And it's this one here, test one. Okay. So I, I know it's uh, six, some, six and a half megabytes or something. So I'm just going to say open and you'll see zoom up it goes. Boom, job done. Okay. You can see it at the bottom here uploading. There it goes, six meg gone. And I'm giving, I'm, I'm just going to leave it to name. Well, I'm going to say here, I can give it a name. So I'm going to say, um, video showing how to record with game bar and then you can put a description in if you want to um you can put a thumbnail if you want okay i don't so if and so if you don't put a thumbnail it kind of randomly picks one frame from your um <clears throat> from your video and it, it'll use that as the thumbnail okay I come down to audience and I say, yes, it's made for kids. Okay. Okay. I, I don't that... want to be stupid, Alan. What is a thumbnail? And I've got two, but um, I don't know a what thumbnail, a thumbnail is. A, a thumbnail is, is that image that's in your video um, when people have a look at it. Okay. Remember, I, I, I said to you that this, I can't see it. See here, that there's a thumbnail. On the right hand side with its little videos, it's it's kind of the the image that shows your video. 
Okay, thanks. Okay. Think it's like the icon. Think of it as being the icon. Okay. Um, so I say, yes, it's made for kids. Okay, and then I, down here I hit next. So I click next. Okay, just leave this as it is. Okay, so I click next again. And now this is the important part. Okay, so I gave it a, I gave it a name. Now I'm saying here, do I want to make it private? Okay, so you could make it private if you want to. So only you and people you choose can see your video. Okay, or do you want to make it unlisted? Okay, now I have some unlisted videos in my channel that I've, I just share with friends of mine. It's, it's to do with trading. And so it's not something that I, I, I kind of want uh, general visitors on my site to see. So I've got an unlisted video and only people that I send the link to can see that video. Okay, so think of it as being like an unlisted phone number. If, 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 your, phone, if your cell phone number was in the phone directory, anybody could phone you, okay? Because that would then be public. It would be that. But if you've got an unlisted number, only people that know your number can phone you. Okay, so that's kind of what this unlisted number is. It's not going to show in your channel. So if someone comes to your channel and looks at your videos, the, the unlisted ones will not be there. Okay, um, only people with the actual link would be able to see it. The vast majority of mine, I just make them public. Okay, so I don't, I don't see any restriction on them at all. I just say public. There we go. Or what you could do, just like you can do in Teams with, with, um, with forms, you can schedule it so that you can make your videos ahead of time. And you can say, I only want them to come, let's say, live on YouTube at this date and time. So you can click on schedule and you can tell it when to come live. Okay. So I'm just going to leave mine as public there. Um, and that's everything. That's that's completely done. And I'm going to say publish. Alan. Yes. Sorry, it's Cindy. I just want to ask, what is the difference sure. between private and the unlisted? I'm not too sure. Um, I've never used the private one. Okay. The, 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 the most restricted I've ever used was unlisted. Um, so it's still on my channel. But, yeah, but, but, but no one can see it's there unless they physically got the link. They, they, they'd have to type a link in to get it. So I'm not too sure. Maybe just look that up on, on look up, look it up on Google because Google own YouTube. So this is, this will be bound to be there. So just, just even if you go onto YouTube and just say, um, what is private YouTube or something? And it, 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 there'll, there'll be a, a hundred videos that'll tell you. Okay, you, you, believe it or not, YouTube is actually the second largest search engine in the world now, directly behind Google. Um, Alan, um, what's worked quite well for a few of us is we do a, a spreadsheet and you do your your works, your, let's say, however you want to do it, your next day or the next two days. And you type exactly what the children must do and then you put your link in that. And you send uh, okay, it. So, you, so, you, so, you, so you're sending out a, a, a list of links. Well, I'm sending out okay. a lesson exactly what I want the parents to do. This is how you must greet. And then at the bottom, I will add my video that I've made. I will yeah. add it. And then they've got, let's say, for Wednesday. And they've got the whole Wednesday's um, program. I know some other teachers also do it like that. And then you've got your whole program so all the parents do is they read what they're supposed to be doing and then they click on a link to watch the teaching of it basically I think what, I think what you're going to do is you're probably going to end up um, coming up with a, a system that works well for for you and your kids um, but the trick here is just you, the idea is you're using YouTube um, as your platform for for holding your videos yeah. and also for yeah. and also for displaying the videos because the kids don't have to log into anything. Just about every device has got a YouTube app on it. They can view it on their Xbox. They can view it on th their gaming console. They can view it on their phone. They, they can view it on anything because it's it's just YouTube. Um, and, 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 and that's what I found it so good. Yeah, and as a PDF, then the parents can access it easier on their phone if it's. 
Not your oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. If, if, if you're sending text documents, make them into a PDF. If you send us a Word document, then you're assuming they've got Word to look at it with, and not everybody's got that. So if you make it a PDF, anything can view a PDF, uh, even a browser. You can look at a PDF in Chrome. Okay, but uh, but um, if if you send it as a Word or an Excel spreadsheet, you're not guaranteed that people can see that. Yeah. Okay, so, so here you can see there's the video that I uploaded right there, okay? If I want to change the description because I don't like the description, I can go here to that little pencil and I can click on that and I can come back and change my title, okay? I can put a description in. I did not put a description in. If I didn't like the thumbnail, I could pick another one. Let's say, okay, I want that one instead, whatever that may be. Um, and I'm going to say save. You can see it doing the save. Okay, and then it is saved. So we're we're done. If I go and have a look at my videos, I can just go back here. I can click on there and my channel will load up. Here it is here. And there's my video over there. So if I click on videos, I will see all my videos and there's my most recent one over there. So if I click on it, There it is, the one that I made. Now I'll show you something here. You see here where I'm holding my mouse, where it says settings. You got that little gear there with the HD in it, okay? If I click that, you can see quality. I'm currently viewing it at 1080p, okay? So that is, that, that is high def, that's high definition. But you can see it's made six different versions of my file for me. There's a high def, a little bit less high def, all the way down to 144p. Okay, if I go there, I'm now getting a much lower quality. You can see it. It's lower quality, but much less data. Okay, no one's going to look at it at 144. That's just stupid. Um, what you'd normally do is you'd look at it in at least um, 480 so you can see YouTube made six different versions of my file for me automatically. I, I, I just sent the, 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 the large version up and they, they made all the others for me. Okay. So that's about what I wanted to cover. Um, today was literally just um, how, to, how to record, how to crush it with handbrake, it's much smaller file, um, how, to, how, to, how to create a YouTube channel, and how to upload. And, um, and, Alan. And, and then you're set. Yep. From the JPs, thank you very much. Can you please include us in, in, um, um, in, in all your presentations? Um, can you add us to your team? then you don't have to invite us all the time. Sure, I guess so. Um, it's, um, would you it's mind Barbara, doing it's that? Bar it's Barbara's team, I'll ask her. Otherwise, what I'll do is I have my I have a team of my own that I use for experimenting with, so I'll just add everybody in there and we'll just use that team. If but, but when you do have a training session with the SPs, any no, training this, session, this, can you send us first, an this invite? The this, this is the first one that we've done. Um, but, yes. uh, but if I do more, I will definitely, I will definitely. Please. Um, yeah, yeah, no problem. Thank you, Alan. This is so valuable. And we, you know, we're so uncertain about the future. And parents, you know, want the best method of teaching. And we must explore that. So thank you. No problem at all. Has anybody got any thank questions you, from, from what we covered today? And no one, no questions. Everyone should be able yes. it's, it's, it's actually very easy to play. <laughs> Okay, but now I've got a question. I want to go right to the beginning again. You know, sure. the game bar, you said that we have to, yes. um, you know, we can uh, have the microphone and all of that sort of thing. But is that yes. only going to record us speaking? How are we going to add things to that? You see, that's no, what I, I want to know. Okay, so, I've, so game I've bar. I've things PowerPoints, okay, all right. <laughs> so game bar um, will not record your camera. OK, it'll record you speaking, so it'll record anything you're doing on your screen and your microphone. OK, 
So, like I said, I've for me to put video on mine, I, I don't use GameBot. Okay, it's, it's 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 I find it a little bit just a little bit too simple for me. I did, I, I need some other bits and pieces. Um, so I use something called OBS, um, Open Broadcaster, which is once again free software, um, easy to use. You know, once you set it up, it's easy to use. Um, so, so that's what I use. Um, I don't have to. Sorry, I was just. It was a lot of noise coming in. Yeah, you. Lost you there, Alan. No, no problem. <laughs> okay, so like I said, a game bar uh, doesn't put video in. Okay, so it it only it'll record everything on your screen plus your microphone. So you so you can if you want. Like I often use, I just put up Windows Paint sometimes, and I just draw with my mouse. I think the kids probably quite like it that it's quite rough. You know, it's 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 not it's it's not pretty if you know what I mean. Um, and I, I quite like that, the, the fact that it's quite rough. It, it makes it look a bit different. You know, it's not like working in a Word document or an Excel spreadsheet or something. Um, and, and if anyone's interested in how to use uh, Open Broadcaster, I, I certainly don't mind showing you. It's very, very simple to use. What, you know, once you've got it installed, it, it, it's easy. Um, and I can, you get, a, can you give us a workshop on that? Sure. Are, are you using a school laptop? I am. Okay. Um, you will need to. You will need uh, Leslie's assistance to install it, because it, it, you'll need to have a an admin password. You know, it's like anything that you install on your laptop. Um, but if okay. you. But if anyone, if anyone's interested, just just send me a WhatsApp saying that you're interested in o Open Broadcaster, and then I'll, I'll I'll put another lesson together, and and whoever's interested in it, I will. We'll put another group session together, and, and we'll do it there. Um, now, Open Broadcaster will put your video as well as your microphone, plus whatever's on your desktop. Um, it's it's easier to use than Teams, way way easier to use than Teams even. Um, and and those are what I use for my, for mine. And and the great thing about Open Broadcaster is uh, you don't need to use Handbrake because the video that it makes. Is already very small. It's it's kind of got handbrake built into it, um, so so the video that it makes is is already very very small. You know, I've got videos that I make here that are, um, let's say, I've, I've made a couple here over the last couple of days. Some of them are are longer than forty minutes. Forty minutes, the entire video is something like one hundred and twenty, one hundred and twenty meg or something, one hundred and thirty meg. So it's it's very very small. Where you know, we had one hundred and thirty meg just now for thirty seconds. Um, open broadcaster will make a 40 minute video for, for that size. So yeah, it's got some nice features. Okay, so sorry, it's me again. Yes. Um, so, so how am I going to use this game bar? Because what I've been doing is I've been using making PowerPoints, okay, with uh, sound, and then I have been compressing them into uh, using Handbrake to make a video yes. that I then give to the kids. So okay. I don't know how this game bar is going to help me because no, I need to. It won't. Okay, so so if so if, if you are happy just using PowerPoint and using a video, perfect. Stick with that um, and keep by, uh, um, smashing it down with Handbrake. And maybe what you want to do um, is then what you what you take from today is just make yourself a YouTube channel and upload all your PowerPoints to YouTube. Then you can just send the kids links. You don't have to email them anything or whatever. You just email them a link and then they can just watch it on YouTube uh, whenever they want to. So, so uh, maybe okay. your takeaway today is not necessarily Game Bar. So Game Bar is if you want to use something other than PowerPoint. So let's say, for instance, you load up, like I do some of mine in paint. So I just put a uh, paint 3D on the screen and I draw with my mouse. So whatever, when I'm writing, I literally write with my mouse. So it's quite rough. Um, and, and, and I think they're quite funny. So I think there's an element of entertainment in the video that the kids probably like as well. Um, so if you, you just carry on using um, whatever you want to use. So if uh, Excel and, and PowerPoint, if, if PowerPoint's working for you, stick with it. Um, and then the videos that you make, just upload them to YouTube. You know, and, and let the kids access them from there. Yeah. 
Alan, from a JP perspective, I found that PowerPoint and Parrot work the best if you want to go that yeah. route. Yeah, uh, the Parrot software sounds sounds good. Uh, I think your Parrot software is very similar to what I use uh, Paint, you know, Microsoft Paint for. I just grab a pen and I just draw with whatever yes. color pen I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's yeah, that's it's it, just yes. more complex and yeah, perfect. What, yeah. It's, it's okay, whatever great. works for you. It's, it's what, exactly. whatever works for you. Exactly. Yes. There's so many variables, and I think everybody yeah. must take what works. Yes. No, thank you, Alan. So you might find, though, you might find that um, you want to do something, and PowerPoint is not appropriate. It's just, it's, 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 it's just not going to do the job. But there's something else on your computer that will do the job for you. Um, then Game Bar, that's where Game Bar is going to come in. So Game Bar will record that. Yeah. I'm definitely going to try Game Bar. Thank you. Oh, no. Welcome. Okay, thanks, Alan. Thanks, I've learned a lot, and we would maybe like to have a lesson on open broadcasters sometime. You just okay. decide when it will fit you and invite us. It would be great. Thank okay. you, Alan. So in the interim, maybe what you can do is uh, just, because otherwise I don't want Les to get smacked by 40 people simultaneously. Um, maybe what you can do is um, just have a chat to Leslie and, and have it installed. So just install um, Open Broadcaster. Mm -hmm. I will I will send a link out to, to everybody that was on this um, video. Um, and then we will, and once it's installed, then we'll do this side, uh, then we'll go for it. Let me just stop okay. the recording. Right. Okay, guys. Thank you, 